Hello, everyone. Um, I have a question for you. Could your home products that you purchase to clean and freshen your home be doing you and your family more harm than good? I am super glad that you are here and in this group. I want to thank you for being part of this group and for listening to tonight's topic called Elevate Your Life. Recognizing the concern of hidden toxins in our personal care and cleaning products is the first step to elevating our life. Tonight, we're going to start off with a few quick facts as to why it is important to have that awareness. And then Whitney and Rachel will share what they have found to be viable solutions for their family. And then Rachel's gonna do a little wrap up at the end of simple steps that you can take for your families to make as well. Um, stay tuned though till the very end because we're going to have some drawings of some very nice gifts. So uh, stay with us through the whole thing. And we really appreciate your participation and commenting. So please do so uh, if you hear something that you think is valuable or should be emphasized. My name is Connie McDaniel. I've been with Young Living uh, 20 years, but I started referring people uh, to take a look at the Young Living Lifestyle about 15 years ago, because I realized that the message of creating a healthy, toxin-free home was really important. My children, who are now adults, um, actually grew up in a home that elevated their life because it was just part of our lifestyle. And I'm grateful that I paid attention way back then because life isn't always easy. And knowing natural tools to help balance not only life, but balance your health is totally elevating. Um, also, it saves money over time is what I found for our family. So it became an economic benefit as well. One thing that I learned is your home is the foundation of health, period. It really doesn't matter the cost because it if you think about it, every healthy choice that you make, whether it's drinking more water, exercising, eating healthy, is all negated if your home is poisoning you. We have to think of it as drip by little drip by little drip. Uh, it bioaccumulates in the body and our body systems aren't able to work in a balanced, healthy way. So becoming more informed about the products you choose to use in your home is important. So let's look at some facts here. I'm gonna grab my notes here and take a look. There are 17,000 trade secrets uh, in our common everyday products that we purchase. If we think of a, our bi biology in high school, we can remember that our bodies can metabolize things that they know. So for example, if we eat food or we uh, touch things in the garden, our body knows how to metabolize those. But the problem lies when we get into synthetics because the body doesn't know how to metabolize those things. And so it stores drip by drip by drip into fatty tissue, brain, breast, uh, ovaries, prostate, uh, whatever we have around our middle. Also, there's another uh, category where they call them endocrine disruptors that mimic um, our hormones. And then they fool the body. Um, so if they lock into the lock and key system of our body, they mimic. And then our body is confused because that doesn't communicate the right message. So it can turn off a communication, or it can turn on a communication that shouldn't be there. So that's why our balance or our homeostasis is messed up when we get these chemicals uh, into our homes. So let's look at another fact. The first one is phthalates. Phthalates are endocrine disruptors. They impact how our thyroid works, how balanced our hormones are, and they can even lower testosterone. Uh, the impact is big. It messes with our cell communication. It can cause cognitive uh, 
uh, development problems. It can cause memory uh, issues, attention, poor emotional control, and so on. These toxins can impact anxiety, hyperactivity, um, and all sorts of things. But guess what? They're hidden. 75% of all households use air fresheners and 70% of all households burn candles. Those are the two biggest contributors to phthalates in the home. The second category is parabens. Parabens are used to increase the shelf life of all of our personal care, lotions, shampoos, everything like that. And they, it's uh, like sometimes they're an antibacterial agent because they're trying to control mold and bacteria in these, these things. And so we have to be careful. There's a really interesting study that I found um, saying that people who use more personal care have a higher rate of parabens in their body. But the thing they pointed out is young adolescent girls who use more personal care had the higher amount of parabens in the body. But here's the good news, everybody. The study also showed that there was a 45% drop in those parabens in these adolescent girls within three days of stopping using those products. So because their mamas changed the products they were using, there is great hope to know that that will leave the body. So that was a super interesting um, study. Another study shows that parabens are stored in fat fatty tissue and they accumulate over time, like we said, but those parabens in the personal care, um, there is 15 to 230 micrograms that enter infants and babies every day. That was quite alarming to me. Going back to women, parabens um, are endocrine disruptors, which alter hormone function. But they're also associated with not only infertility and cancer, but they're also implicated in obesity because they make fat cells fatter. And so there's an issue there. But again, there's good news that Rachel and Whitney will be sharing about when we choose a different choice in our consumer products, we can change the way it impacts our life. There's also a body burden I was reading about for children. Hidden toxins in our soap. This is dish soap, laundry soap, our hand soap, all of those soaps. Um, it says that if we, a Canadian research says that an infant's exposure to household cleaning chemicals within the first few months of life had a heightened odd for asthma by age three. Like this is just so alarming. So when we think about it, people are still looking at the price. I say, wow, if something's 10 cents more or a dollar more to have a clean product, who cares? Um, and so, but we want to also show you tonight how you actually save money using products that are healthy and non-toxic. We do vote with our dollars, a simple switch causes these companies to notice and it does impact your family's health and the development uh, that they um, have. Um, as we uh, close this introduction though, I want to make sure that you realize the good news is that as we decrease our exposure, you do protect yourself, your family, but don't forget that we also protect our waterways when we do that. Nature holds the key to our wellness. And our lifestyle choices impact our productivity, our energy, our hormone balance, our, our memory, our brain function, everything. So now I'd love to introduce you to Whitney and Rachel who have found viable options within their own homes using the Young Living Lifestyle. Whitney, do you wanna start us off tonight? I sure will. Thank you so much for all of those stats, Connie. Um, I really appreciate all of the knowledge that you bring to the table for all of us because 
it's sometimes really hard to find those stats. And when I started learning those things about from you um, about eight years ago now, um, it really made me, <clears throat> excuse me, it really made me angry that all of that stuff is in those chemicals and you think it's on the shelf that it's safe and it's just really not. So um, we're gonna talk about like, some ways you can get rid of those candles and air fresheners and things that Connie was just talking about with those alarming stats. And so I thought I would show you how a diffuser actually works because that's what we would replace with um, all those things with. Um, so as you can see, Rachel has the lantern diffuser behind her. Connie, well, you will see, Connie had a glass one behind her and I have this one, this is called the desert mist diffuser. So you take off the globe, take off this top, and then there's a little, oh, there's just a ridge in here that you fill the water to. And actually tonight I am gonna diffuse thieves because that makes a positive impact on our health and um, it boosts your immune system, which is what everybody needs. Plus it smells like cinnamon and clove and it just smells really good um, to have your house smell like that. So one of the things that I was thinking about when I was preparing for this was like, why do you even buy things that smell good? Why do you want your house to smell like that? So some of the things I came up with is that um, Actually, I've looked up nine to 10, nine out of 10 candle users say that they use candles just to make a room feel comfortable and cozy. This can give you that same effect. And let's see, so there's a lot of different light options. My favorite is the candle. <laughs> so you can still get that warm glow flicker. You can also have it like flip through a whole rainbow of colors and have it. My kids like the blue in their room at night. So that's what we do. Um, but this is gonna give off a fine mist, a cool mist, and it's not going to damage the properties of the oils. And you're gonna get um, really great scent throughout your room. Um, another way, another reason you might want to bring in things to that smell good into your home would be like, this is common right now, wet dog smell. I, I actually take my thieves and spray my dog <laughs> because it's safe. And um, you, you might wanna cover up the, like a scent from cooking, like supper, refresh your kid's stinky room or shoes. Um, but fragrances are just, You'll never find fragrance in a Young Living product. It's all scented by natural oils from the earth. And um, so the fragrance in things is not what you're going to find in Young Living's products. And it's really something that's like a four letter word in my household. Um, it's not something that is allowed in my home because I do have breathing issues. So that stat about the soap Connie made about the, th that just blew my mind because I do have those breathing issues and I'm so glad that my kids are around them because I don't want them to have them. Um, I love that you said, what's the difference between fragrance and aroma? Because fragrance is the synthetic you're talking about and then aroma is the natural beauty of nature. <laughs> right, and a quote from the Environmental Working Group says that exposure to fragrance chemicals can cause headaches, eye, nose, throat, nose and throat irritation, nausea, forgetfulness, loss of coordination, and other respiratory and or neurotoxic symptoms. Many fragrance ingredients are respiratory irritants and sensitizers, which can trigger asthma attacks and aggravate sinus conditions. So when you take all of those things that are bombarding your senses out of your home and replace it with this, you are going to find that you maybe didn't even realize that you felt bad because that's what happened to me. Um, actually, I have a funny story about a air freshener really quickly. Um, I had 
and the air freshener down where my dog lays. It's like one of those plug-in ones. And I had just within the last couple of years of living in our previous home, we had painted all of our trim in oil-based paint. Well, this air freshener was just a couple inches higher than the trim. After like a week of having that thing plugged in, the paint was bubbling off the woodwork. And my dad is a painter, like he did it the right way. So I took that thing away. I'm like, oh my goodness, if this is happening to our trim, what is it doing to my lungs and the poor dog who is laying right next to it? I felt horrible and I'm like, okay, never again will we have these in our home. It was just like, like mind blowing that that stuff could take oil-based paint off of your trim and you're breathing it in every day. I just, that really rubbed me the wrong way. So from then on, no more. And even when I go somewhere, I unplug them. <laughs> um, so on to the next thing that we can easily replace in our home is our cleaning product. This is our Thieves household cleaner. And all it takes is one little capful um, to two cups. I have a cool little bottle that has the lines on here. Um, so two cups of water, 16 ounce spray bottle and one capful of feeds cleaner is going to replace all of the following products in your home. I used to buy, I went to Walmart the other day and priced out all of the things that I used to buy. So I used to buy Lysol disinfectant spray, Lysol wipes. Um, I, I don't think Mrs. Myers was a thing back when I was buying stuff, but that was there. And I know a lot of people use it. So it's a multi-purpose. I don't buy Pine Sol, Pledge, Windex, um, Armor All wipes for the car. I don't, I have one of those um, Bissell Cross Waves that you have a solution for to clean your hard floors. I use this instead. Um, and I kind of, I went through and you can see all of my notes here. I went through and like um, wrote the price and about how many times a year you might buy that product. And I came up with about $220 a year for just cleaning products in your home. And so if you buy three or four bottles, I think I did three bottles of this year because it's so concentrated. Um, you don't really have to use that much. You would spend $94 on Thieves Household Cleaner. So you guys, that's a savings of $125 for your household. And right now that's huge. If you don't have to pick up that extra cleaner at Walmart, that's a big deal. Um, Thank you for sharing that because I think sometimes people look at the like, oh, it's $28 but they don't realize that it'll make several bottles. So thank you for sharing that economic uh, fact as well. That's awesome. People love saving money. <laughs> we sure do, especially as mamas. I don't, I don't, I don't want to spend money on cleaning products. I want to spend money on fun things or oils to make my house smell good. <laughs> um, so the next thing that's really easy to ditch and switch to um, is with this kitchen and bath scrub. Sorry, my light is reflecting there. But this changed my cleaning game. If you've been in this group for a while, um, you would have seen Jill's post earlier in the week of her cleaning her stovetop with it. It's amazing. You should read through that thread because everybody's like, I do this with it. I do this with it. I do this with it. And it's just a really cool thread. But this... While it might not be like dollar for dollar huge savings, you're still only going to buy one product versus um, I have toilet keeper, bar keeper, or toilet cleaner, bar keeper's friend, soft scrub, like a stove top glass, glass top stove cleaner. I saw that somebody uses it in their laundry, which I had never tried before. I'm going to be trying that. So you're replacing all of that with this one product and this is $14.50. Um, 
and it cleans everything. Toilets, bathtubs, showers, glass shower doors, um, your kitchen sink. Um, so this stuff has been a huge game changer in my cleaning because I, even with homemade paste and stuff before, I couldn't get my hard water stains and stuff to go away. But this stuff, this stuff will do the trick. So you guys can clean your entire house with these two things and make a huge impact on your health and your environment. Um, not only because these things are non-toxic, but because you're only buying two bottles of things. You don't have all of those bottles of cleaners that you're throwing away because you can't recycle those bottles. I don't know if you didn't know that, but you can't, it says not recyclable, recyclable on there because they're filled with chemicals. So huge savings and great for the environment um, and your family. So yeah. Plus, plus under your sink, I would imagine with little kids, if you have two things, you, you're not worrying about poison or, um, you know, and it's a lot tidier under the sink. It sure is. <laughs> all right. I think that's about all I have for you. If Rachel wants to do our next portion, I'd be happy to hand it off to you. Yeah. Thanks, Whitney. Those tips were so awesome. I love that you like were keeping track at Walmart. That's so cool. I haven't bought those things from Walmart and the dollar store. Like I haven't I haven't bought those things in years and it's yeah like Connie said it's so simple you open up your it's like the minimalist dream like oh it looks nice under here. <laughs> but yes i'm Rachel hello it's so good to be here and thanks Connie for having Whitney and I. Um, so my story kind of involves like Connie talked about all those toxins and how they can affect you. That was me. <laughs> I was the girl that had all the products, all the things. And she talked about, oh, the girls that use all the products tend to have issues that show up. That was me. Um, I My story includes hormonal issues. I actually developed antibiotic resistance from overuse of antibiotics. Um, and then I also um, hereditarily have um, chronic IBS. So in my mid twenties, my health just took a nosedive, crashed and burned. And actually of all things, I, I didn't, I never made the connection on my own. Like maybe there's toxins in my products. It actually, you won't believe this, <laughs> was my fertility specialist that was kind of like, what are you putting on your body? What are you eating? And he was like drilling me about what I did. And I left the office that day in tears. Like, oh, what have I been doing? I had no idea. I just, I, I was a mess. But what I found was, so I started that journey of starting to remove some of those toxins that were in the products that I loved. And then when I did finally get my kids and my little one, um, he has, <laughs> he has severe dyslexia. Um, he has ADHD. And when he was younger, he was showing signs of autism. So again, I kind of kicked into okay, what, what are our toxins affecting him? Is our food, like what's going on here? And I didn't know about oils at the time. So it took me some time to um, know about them and um, that people weren't talking about them as much when I, my first was born. Um, so anyway, what I found out was as I was learning and researching, like, how do I help my child? is there's this gut brain connection. And maybe you guys are familiar with that. And they even call your gut, your second brain. And, um, our gut affects our immunity, our digestion, our mood, our focus, and even it can affect hormones. And some people don't realize this, but serotonin, the feel good hormone over 90% of that is made in our gut. Only less than 1% of it is made in the brain. So we tend to think that the brain and the brain does control hormones, but the, like serotonin is made in the gut. Like who knew? I didn't know that. And the gut affects so many things, mood and focus and our emotions. And we all want our kids to be at their best at school. We want them to be thriving and doing well and focused and we also want them all those things at home too, <laughs> thriving and doing good and good behavior, right? Not just for the teacher, for us too. But what about us mamas? We want to be thriving. We want focus. Hello, mom brain. I mean, ever walk into a room and like have no idea why you walked in there? Like help a mama out. Like <laughs> 
focus. We need focus and energy and cognition. We need all those things too. And what I kind of found was the things that would help me also would help my son and me supporting my gut helped my hormones. It helped my focus, my cognition, but supporting his gut also helped support his brain because his little brain was just firing on all, all engines all the time, crazy, crazy. And we needed to support that gut so that nutrients could even make it to the brain. Because if the gut is off, the nutrients aren't even getting absorbed. They're not even getting to the brain. So the very first thing I needed to do, but also my son was to really focus on that gut. Um, another fun fact that I just found out is, um, 40% of the food we eat turns into energy for the brain. 40%. I had no idea. So what I want to share is, um, three simple, I had to contain it to three simple steps because y'all, I could talk about this all day and I could share tips all day. And it's something that I love to talk about because I have seen so much help in my own personal journey. And I have seen my son make just such strides and it makes me so passionate. I just want to share it all. So but I'm going to contain myself to just three little tips tonight. <laughs> so we're not here all night. So the first thing that we can do to really support that gut so that we can support our brain um, outside of removing the toxins, that's obviously kind of what we were alluding to before was remove those toxins. Now, what can we do? So the first thing is it's super simple is a good probiotic. So we have life nine, which is awesome. It has 17 billion active life cultures that come from nine strains, which is why it's called life nine and it's fabulous. And then we have a little pixie stick kind of a like probiotic for our kids. And, um, I take the life nine and my son actually does both of these. And I have some tips. If you guys want to know later, um, how I get my kids to swallow my child swallows all kinds of um, supplements. I can show you that trick later if you guys are interested in that. Um, but I also have some other tips of how we use this in kind of some unconventional methods if you want to hear more about that. But a good probiotic is so huge to support that gut flora so that we can be nourish getting the nourishment that we need. So the second easy button thing we can do is Omega Gis. I'm obsessed with this. So I love it for me because it helps support my hormones and it just gives me those good, healthy fats. So I don't know if you have a husband like mine, but he's obsessed with like those survival shows on TV where they like drop these people in the middle of God only knows where, like the Arctic somewhere. And then they have to survive for like 90 days or something. I don't know. And it's like, it cracked me up because what are all these people? Like, what are they finding? They have to find the fat. They have to find the animal fat. They have to find the, the fish. They have to keep fat in their body to survive. Their body needs it. Their brain needs it. And sometimes we're not eating the most healthy and we're not getting the right amount of fats that our brain needs for us women, for our hormones, that we need those healthy fats or our kids for their cognition and them to be showing up at school the way they need to. Um, sometimes it's just not in our diet. This is just easy button. So easy. They're easy to swallow. They're little, they're amazing. I could talk about it all day, but just two things. Can I just share two things? Um, <laughs> so first thing is why is ours amazing? Why, why can I tell a difference? Cause so many things we take, we can't tell a difference. Right. And you're like, I think that just gave me expensive urine. Well, you're going to be able to tell it <laughs> seriously though. Um, you're going to be able to tell the difference because Young Living's supplements are infused with oils, which is stinking amazing because, um, did you know that most fish oil supplements on the market go rancid? They literally, when you're putting them in your body and swallowing them, they are rancid because fish oil goes bad really fast, but ours is amazing and doesn't go rancid because it has those oils in there that helps it stay nice and fresh and not go rancid. And then another super fun fact about oils being in our supplements is it helps with better assimilation. Our supplements have a 60 to 80% better absorption rate in our bodies. So I don't want to pay for expensive pee. No, thank you. I want it actually getting in my body, getting absorbed, all the good things. Another fun fact, and then I'll, and then I'll quit, I promise. Um, but when I am taking my omegas, I have less cravings. When I get away from taking it, 
Um, I just noticed my, my body is like craving. I'm like looking for sugar. I'm looking for bread. I'm looking for things. It's like my body knows I need something. And when I'm on it, I have way less cravings. So I love the omega. So probiotic omegas and my last super simple, easy button step to support your body is some ninksha. Funny word. This sounds kind of weird. And no, it's not tomatoy. Some people ask, is it tomato? What is that? It's actually berries and it's from Ningxia, China. And it is a super powerful antioxidant. So, so good for you. I actually did a post in the group all about Ningxia. There's so many good things I could go on for like an hour just about the good things in Ningxia. So I'm not going to take up the time to talk about all of it. You can go check out that post, but it is so good for your brain, your eyes, your gut, your vision, um, jo joints, your heart. So good. They come in the little packets that make it easy to pack in lunches or on the go. But then what we do, I get the big bottles and then we have like a little cup that's like this. And we just pour a little bit. My kids love it. They beg for it. Um, they do their little ningxia. Um, and it also has some oils in it as well that helps with better assimilation and um, all those good things as well. So those are my three little just super simple um easy button, probiotic, omegas, ningxia, you get on those things, you're going to notice a huge difference in your gut. You're going to notice just so many differences in you, but also for your kiddos too.